was sneaky, concise, and brief. The unveiling of the new Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider was a well-executed but brief event that disclosed more by way of hints than by way of outright disclosure. The rollout ceremony at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale, California facility featured political dignitaries, Defense Department officials, Air Force officers, enlisted personnel, and a sizable group of staff members responsible for the B-21 Raider program. It was the first major strategic bomber introduction in 34 years. A mystery gray bomber with very small engine intakes, odd-looking cockpit windows, and a broad fat belly was the shy star of the show though. From the back, top, or sides of the aircraft, there were zero views of the B-21 Raider. The B-21 Raider rollout didn't differ significantly from the artist representations of the aircraft that have been in the public domain for years in almost every way. The majority of the B-21 Raider's new capabilities are, as most analysts predicted, deeply hidden within the aircraft's system's millions, or billions, of lines of code, a suite of sensors, and network-enabled electronic and weaponry capabilities that would be more at home in a science fiction novel than a modern aircraft. It's possible that the first enemy to hear about the full operational capabilities of the Raider Raider won't live to tell about them because of the intense operational security that has enveloped the B-21 program. The significant differences are within the platform, according to Northrop CEO Kathy Warden, who also told breaking defense writer Valerie Encina that you can think about how much digital technology has advanced during the time we produced the B-2 and the time we constructed the B-21. Following statements from Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin Ayo, Chairman, CEO, and President of Northrop Grumman Kathy Warden and Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Admiral Christopher W. Grady, the B-21 Raiders official unveiling got underway. Lloyd Austin Ayo, the Secretary of Defense, made the most motivational statements about this significant time in aviation history. The Doolittle Raiders, a group of U.S. Army Air Corps crews that carried out the renowned Doolittle Raid over Japan on April 18, 1942, and who served as the inspiration for the B-21's official name, were cited by Secretary Austin I.I. Austin I.I. compared the Doolittle Raiders' 1942 mission, which showed the strength and reach of the American Air Force, to the new B-21 Raiders' global precise stealth strike capability. Austin I.I. continued, Generations of American aviators have been inspired by the Doolittle Raiders' audacity. It is appropriate that the next phase of American air power bears their name. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It continued. It is evidence of the United States' persistent advantages in creativity and innovation. Despite motivational words, the bashful gray ghost who initially emerged from the Palmdale hangar wearing a sheer gossamer silk garment stole the stage. The B-21 Raider's exterior differs slightly from the B-2 Spirits in a dark, understated way. The B-21's canopy's peculiar shape reflects changes brought forth by lessons learned from the B-2 Spirit. The B-21 gives off a less frightening first image due to its size because it is visually and dimensionally smaller than the B-2. The more sophisticated observer, though, gets a sense of stealthy violence and hidden advancement from the gray surface's smooth, animal-like curves and oddly non-metallic appearance that the rollout didn't show and, in fact, purposefully obscured. The B-21 is not visibly different from the B-2 Spirit, which has been around for 34 years, according to pundits and defense budget cynics. And the U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command, the final customer, will be happy with that. In particular, when it comes to low observable technologies, avionics and weapons capabilities, the less information potential enemies can deduce about the B-21's capabilities from its appearance, the better. The B-21 Raider rollout event today was held under strict security and visual control. This was probably due in part to a well-known media gaffe that occurred 34 years prior at the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirits launch ceremony on November 22, 1988. When the B-2 Spirit was unveiled at that ceremony, Intrepid Aviation Week and space technology reporter Mike Dornheim and photographer Bill Hartenstein flew over it in a Cessna 172 light plane and snapped pictures. This was a view of the new bomber that was purposefully hidden by the aircraft's location from the designated viewing area. Direct overhead photography of the new B-2 by Dornheim and Hartenstein revealed, at least visually, 
how the aircraft's rear was configured, including its infrared reducing exhaust features and overall plan form. Remember that social media didn't exist when the now famous B-2 deployment mishap occurred. In the current media landscape, everyone from social media influencers with Mavic drones to cut reporters in Cessnas and Chinese surveillance satellites would be fighting for space to capture photographs of the B-21 if Northrop Grumman hadn't placed major controls over its rollout. This time, a NOTAM was sent to block the airspace over Palmdale and reserve it for a flyover by the current U.S. Air Force bomber trio. Instead, the B-21 Raider's introduction was a dignified event, in which the debutante maintained her allure while revealing subtle external advancements and dropping hints about profound internal operational capabilities. This, no doubt, was the start of a tale that will go down in defense and aerospace history.